What is going on everybody? My name is JLF Victory and I am bringing you guys my second MLS team of the season player review. So yesterday I reviewed Obafemi Martins and it went down really well. So if you guys did not check that video out, go check that one out. Uh, but today we are reviewing Graham Zuzzi. So he has 74 pace, 76 shooting, 83 passing, 75 drilling, 69 defending, and 64 heading. Picked him up for around 40k, selling him on for around 40k right now, and I imagine he'll probably settle around 20 to 30k because I think he is the lowest. Yeah, I, I think he's the lowest overall gold MLS team of the season player. He's only 76 overall, so he will be pulled a lot uh, during this weekend, especially this weekend when a lot of packs will be opened. So this guy, if you guys didn't know, he was originally released as a central midfielder who was a 74 overall, but he got bumped up to a gold. Uh, I think because he has an inform that's a 74 overall. Uh, so, but he got bumped up to a gold. He was a central midfielder originally, but now he's a left mid, uh, and I really wish this card was a center mid uh, because that his stats definitely suit that central midfielder or center attacking mid role better than an outside uh, outside mid player because frankly. Uh, most players that are on the wing to be successful in ultimate team need some pace on them but that's the thing i played it more I, the, the way that i use this guy was more of a slow build up type of play and he actually did fairly well on that uh, but i know some people find that style of play boring in ultimate team uh, so they just want to pace it down the wing cross it and do your thing uh, if that is your style of play i mean i enjoy playing with pacey players too this guy is just not the guy for you but if you were fine passing around holding whatever like 55 60 percent possession build taking your time finding the right pass this guy can actually work out fairly well i liked him at that wide left mid roll even though I would have more preferred him at the central midfield or, or center attacking mid role, uh, but this guy, like I said, his pace isn't the great, the greatest. So you're not going to be people down the line with pace. His strength isn't also the best, so it's not like you can bully people off the ball. Uh, but if you get the ball on his foot, take a couple touches, find the center attacking mid, maybe send a through ball over the top like it is right now uh, to Eddie Johnson or any fast forward in the MLS or any American striker, uh, you can definitely be pretty successful with this guy. So this guy's shooting. Uh, the last two clips are some fantastic long shots. Uh, I must say, he, this, this guy has very good shot power, but his finesse shots were actually really disappointing in my opinion. He has something like 90 curve, and I missed two easy ones, uh, as you guys can tell on the screen, that I just thought I should have scored, but I just was not able to. He does have three-star skill moves, so like I always say, if you do not have your three-star skill moves down, definitely try to get those down, because that's kind of what I did right there. I, was, I wasn't using any fancy, star, fancy skill moves, so I was able to get down the line uh, just by doing some uh, step over and stuff like that you can definitely do that like I said, his passing, definitely above average. Uh, I think w what it says on his card is fairly accurate. Uh, he's no Iniesta or Xavi, but he doesn't have the worst passing in the world. He can definitely find a through ball. He can definitely find players' feet. He can switch the ball. He can do everything like that. Uh, like I said, this guy defending, I didn't really use him that much because just of his position. Uh, so you're not going to be doing that much defending with him. I would definitely put him at a left midfielder role. I don't think he would do as well as a left winger. Maybe in a maybe in a false nine, maybe, uh, just to get him kind of up the pitch and he can uh, kind of do some work up there by using his passing but I liked him at the left midfielder uh, spot but there's the first long shot that I scored with him we'll, we'll have a replay back with him uh, his dribbling is decent like I said he does have that three star skill moves he can keep the ball close to him but that's only if you're not holding down the right trigger the whole entire time you do have to take your time with this guy uh, simply because he just does not have the pace for it uh, just spraying down the wing but this is probably my favorite goal what a strike that is that ball just kept rising and rising and rising and I love those type of goals I was so happy when I scored that one I uh, will watch a replay back on this one too. Uh, this, like I said, this guy's long shots are very, very good. He has 96 shot power, and it definitely feels like that. But overall, I give this guy a 6 out of 10 simply because of his position. If he was a center attacking mid, I think this guy would probably be like an 8 out of 10. Uh, but just because he's a left mid, that just that's just not his position for his stats. But I hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. We are closing in on 400 subscribers, so let's try to hit that before the end of the MLS team of the season.